What's up guys, today we're going to be checking out what's new in the Android 15 uh, Beta 2. This is going to be on the Pixel 7 Pro here. And um, yeah, so let's check out what they're doing new with this software here. So one of the first things that's new is a private space feature. So if you scroll down and you set up the private space, um, it basically gives you an option to be able to, to install applications that are not on the you know the current profile so think of it as like a you know a different profile so you can go ahead and install applications so you can see I have TikTok uh, right here but if I uh, go back into my app drawer here and I lock it you can see there's no TikTok on the phone here so this gives you an extra you know layer of privacy if you want certain applications you don't want it to be you know on your main uh, page here and then you just use your password to enter it and it's pretty good it works really really well the next thing here is the color contrast option it was in the developer mode but now it's like on the main theme settings here so if you go to color contrast here you can see we have high medium and default and then we can go maximum text contrast as well too um, which I think is pretty nice so it gives you and I really like that preview so you can kind of see things just a little bit easier um, you know if you kinda have a struggle kinda like reading stuff or whatever and I think that's pretty cool that they added that here as well you can just turn it off so yeah so this is just a little thing but it's something that I noticed and also one thing that I noticed there and this is also another thing that was in developer uh, options but the predictive backing is here now and it's on by default so you can't turn it off or on anymore. Now the next thing here is if we go to widgets, widgets is now organized. So you have essentials here, suggested for you, and then you have entertainment. So basically this will organize the widgets a little bit and clean everything up here. So if I go to tap on essentials here, you know, just bring me to that. So this is something that I like. So if you're somebody who's really heavy uh, into widgets, it'll go ahead and just make everything a little bit cleaner. And this is a PUBG one, entertainment, YouTube. So you pretty much get the gist of it. It's just a, a you know a more cleaner way to navigate the widgets. So the next thing I noticed was the improved picture in picture. So this is something that Google put in the notes here, and basically. You know when you're kind of watching videos, and this is for all applications, you you know want to put it in the smaller screen. There's usually like a little jitter or lag right there, but now Google has kind of smoothed it out a little bit, so it's not as slow and jittery. So that's something that I really like. I'm sure by the final version, it'll be completely smooth. But this is already pretty smooth. The animation where it goes back to you know the bigger screen here. This is still a little bit, uh, just a little bit. I don't want to say laggy, but it's not as smooth as if I went like this, or if, you know, if I was playing the video and went like that. But yeah, so they're working on that, and so far it is definitely a little bit smoother. Now that was pretty smooth, so it's a little bit inconsistent right now, but I definitely noticed a difference there. Next feature is a privacy feature or security feature. So we go into security, more security and privacy. Now you're going to have this right here, scanning for deceptive applications. Uh, so basically scanning runs privately right now on your device, checking app activity for phishing and other deceptive behavior. If it's detected, some app info is sent to Google Play to protect and confirm the threat. Uh, so basically this is just going to be looking for applications that would be you know, trying to steal information and stuff like that. So that's really good if you download like a lot of apps from the Play Store and stuff like that. So I would definitely, you know, leave this on for sure. This is a really good addition here. All right, so the next thing here is the redesign uh, menu for your volume sliders. Uh, so this looks way better than the previous on Android 14. It looks more consistent with the overall UI. Um, so this is something that I really like. Everything's just thicker and looks a little bit more modern. So that's really nice as well too. There also is an addition to the screen recorder uh, on here. So if you do a lot of screen recording here, you can record now from a single application instead of the entire screen. So that's really nice too. So if you just want to focus and you don't want your uh, taskbar and stuff to be showing, then that's definitely a really cool addition as well too. So that's pretty much all of the new stuff for the phone. There's other features that 
you know, have to do with Android Auto and the bigger tablets and stuff like that. But that's pretty much the stuff that you would kind of recognize here with the the OS. So again, it's just beta 2, so we'll see what, you know, other new features that they do announce here, you know, in the upcoming months. So be sure to subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.